January 1st, 1985, the body of a young redhead woman was found strangled and dumped in Campbell County. It was the third victim in two years. In the next four months, three more victims would be found near interstates in Cheatham County, Knox County, Kentucky, and Greene County. I think it's a very strong possibility these cases are connected. For more than 30 years, five of the six victims were nameless. Todd Matthews works with the National Missing and Unidentified Persons System, or NamUs. He works to find their identities. Well, you know, once you have an ID, you know, you know a lot about that person. Now that investigators know the Campbell County victim is Tina Farmer, Matthews says investigators can piece together more of the puzzle. You know, we know who their family is. We know who they were connected to. We have so much more information. So that possibly could reveal somebody that could have been the killer. So a homicide investigation is now hot. In addition to Farmer, Matthews says there's also a tentative ID for the Knox County, Kentucky victim. In June, a woman who believes the victim is her mother met with several people involved in the case. She submitted DNA, but it's been 10 months and there are still no results. We're waiting for FBI and the DNA analysis. It'll be just one day and it'll happen and we'll know the answer. More than three decades after the murders, Matthews believes the victims will have justice. First, by giving them back their name, then finding their killer. It's important to keep looking because somebody out there is waiting for answers. Grant Robinson, 10 News.